This is a quick little video to talk about uh, guide tubes for the pilot drill kits. So, but basically, what I've been doing for a lot of my kits has been making um, custom uh, drill guides. So, if we go into our surfaces, I'll click off of everything. And uh, if I want a pilot drill guide, I can make this and then use sequential drill guides for each. Um, turn these guys off sequential drill guides for each each drill and you can even pl make a um, implant um, surgical guide and there's, a, there's a way to do it this a little bit different differently than, than what I've shown in the past videos um, and this is all by using um, a custom kit um, in implant list so if you want still want to make a pilot drill guide and you, you want to use the uh, tubes you have your model scan and then you cut those teeth off, all right, and you go into guide panel and you're ready to make a guide and you have your guide sleeve tubes. If you change this to Blue Sky Bio Pilot Kit, it'll automatically default to a guide tube diameter of 3.1. Now, if you're printing with a row box, you're going to want to increase this to 3.2. If you're using a moon ray or form two, you can keep it at 3.1. Why is this important? Um, the metal guide sleeve tubes that are used for this, um, the inner diameter, this is the product um, right here. It's um, tube 3-21-5L. So the inner, the outer diameter of this one is a 3.0, right? So that would, that would, fit right into the guide sleeve um, guide and the inner diameter is a 2.1 and so your drill is a 2.0 so this is the part that you would want to order for the for the this uh, blue sky bio pilot drill kit and then after that you can remove the guide and start making your pilot drill so in guide panel again you would have these tubes turned on you would make sure that um, it would be pilot drill kit 3.1 if you're printing with Robox again you would have to individually select both of them to 3.2 otherwise those metal sleeves will not fit back in the guide panel and just press create surgical guide this takes a little bit of time so that's done you can see what that looks like here um, and I'll, I'm going to show you a comparison of what that looks like um, from the previous ones that I've made um, you can see it's a little bit bulkier up top as opposed to Let's see, turn this off. As opposed to these. I much prefer, I'm starting to get back into using guide sleeve tubes and getting guides that look more like this. What's the advantage of something like that? I'll show you the surgical video that corresponds with this. So this is the video that corresponds to the, the um, drill guide. So basically this was a 2.1. And this was the next sequential drill guide. So these are two different guides. You can see um, how I don't have a lot of room above the pilot drill guides. I'll replay that over real quick. Um, so essentially, this is get, just getting me a landmark for my initial drill. But you can kind of see my drill curves off a little bit once it hits the floor where the tooth was previously extracted. So you can see how it's flat across. If I'm using a a this where I have a little bit more uh, with a guide sleeve tube in here I have less room for slop um, when my drill goes in and it's a little bit more accurate so um, start purchasing these guide tube holes guide tube sleep holes if you're using a row box if you're not using a row box um, you're gonna want to use the same one just not change your offset of your outer diameter in the uh, on the tubes for each individual one from a 3.2 that way these, these same ones will fit smoothly without any issues all right please write any reviews um, email me if you have any questions